Good afternoon from the ranch. Uh, today is Wednesday, January 5th. Yeah. So what we got to do is we're going to do some plowing today. We did some last night just to make sure everything was set right. Had to do some adjustments, but this is our old plow. What this is, it's a chisel plow. You walk around here to where you can see it. And uh, so... I'll get out of the way here. And it's got, how many shanks does this thing on it? What, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, it's a nine shank uh, chisel plow. So, uh, and we got straight shanks on it right now. I've got sweeps for it also, but this is hard compact ground that we're uh, plowing up. I mean, it's real hard. And it's a heavy clay, so it's like solid rock. I mean, it's the same ground we've, we've been driving on mowing doing hay on putting cattle on for the last 21 or 22 years here 22 years here uh so it's hard and it's compacted let me get around this way so and uh, so what we're doing is we're just ripping it up with this we're making a couple passes and then what we will do is uh we'll come back with the disc and uh go over it and actually get it leveled out and everything with the disc and that'll be our cultivation and then we can start planting uh, we gotta get this done i want to get some uh probably gonna put rye in because i can broadcast that and just drag a chain or something and uh and get that covered enough to uh, start growing and but it also get us ready though for uh you know we'll probably build a bell one cut out of that rye grass we get it planted and then it will get us ready for the other uh, things we want to do, which is part, you know, hopefully plant Bermuda out here in the front and plant rye, uh, Sudan, some kind of hybrid uh, Sudan uh, grass uh, over here on this side. So that way we make better hay. That's what we're trying to do. And uh, especially, you know, with the prices, everything's going to be real high this year because uh, fertilizer costs, things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go drop this. I don't need a pallet fork on here. I don't know why I didn't take it off yesterday. I should have. And, uh, but yeah, and we also got the drone ready. So we'll put some drone drone video up also, hopefully. Uh, we'll probably do that up here at the beginning because it's going to get dark pretty quick because it's already late, late. And actually, you know, I have to do my other job first and I come do this after I get off work. Uh, but anyway, and oh, I got a GoPro back here too. So we'll get some video from behind of the plow. So we got the Hero eight here i'm running this on a hero nine i said we got the uh, drone also uh so let's get started oh, i got a microphone right here i got a wireless mic running right now hopefully it sounds good hopefully it sounds better anyway so i'm going to pause y'all for now we'll get some get situated here and then we'll get going so i'm not sure if y'all can see what's happening here but this like i said it's real rough i have no wheel weights on this tractor yet and uh, which we need to get on, we got and we just have to put them on. This ground is tough as can be. And you can see I'm pulling up stumps too. There's a stump over here I just pulled up. And uh, but yeah, it'll beat you up pretty good right now. Once you go over it a couple of times, it's pretty nice. It's just getting those passes in and getting this. Uh, I don't know, probably been 100 years or so for us this ground has been tilled up, I, I imagine. I'm not sure how long it's been, but it's been a while. And, you know, this is an 83 horsepower tractor. It's, I don't have wheel weights on right now, so it's, it's pretty rough. This is pushing the max of, a, uh, of this size tractor, by the way. That. But we did get an uh, area done over here yesterday. Let me show you that. So they got that done partially. We got to go over it again. But we went all down that hill. Right now we're doing these little areas right here. Then we'll move on up to the other area. But We'll get it done. I mean, it's going to take a little bit longer because this tractor is so light and the ground is so compacted. Oh my goodness. But yeah, hang on. Let's have some fun. <laughs>
but I'm not going very deep. I mean, those tires are my gauge, and I'm going, I don't know, four inches maybe, maybe five. But I know, before you say anything, I am going on my levees here, uh, my uh, terraces, I mean, not levees, my terraces. But I'm going to smooth them back out is what I'm going to do. i got to fix them. There's some drainage spots on a few of them that i got to fix. So we'll fix those two while we're at it. Now, we're not going to... We're not going to plow this one. It's too deep, too much of a drop off, and it's actually pretty good. So I don't really need to do anything on this one over here. Good. Let's see, we'll get the drone up here in a minute. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, find some rough ground right here. So like I said, some of this stuff is very compacted. Uh, soil, that's why it's, you know, it's rough because of that. So we'll get it done though, it's just gonna take some time. It's gonna take a few days. You gotta go slow. I think if I had a little bit of wheel weights on it, my, if I had those wheel weights on it, would be a little bit better. <coughs> but this ground is rough. I mean, it's, you know, it's just real compacted. Got a lot of holes out here, a lot of stumps. So, uh, Anyway, hope y'all enjoy the uh, drone video of this too, because I do get the drone up, it's tracking me. It's right there. So it's pretty cool. That was my Christmas present. One of them. I also got a cool t-shirt that uh, Megan made me. And I uh, got a... Uh, one of those AR-500 targets, uh, ding targets you can shoot at, and you hear the gongs, you know. <coughs> so if we go to gun range, we can take that with us, hang it up, hear, hear it ring out there. Uh, <coughs> what else did I get? Uh, I got my Yoda, my baby Yoda, a grungy, whatever his name is, Brokey. I call him Baby Yoda. And... Uh, Oh, I got tamales, yeah. Can't forget the tamales. Be, I, know, I spent like two weeks eating tamales. It was awesome. <coughs> yeah, next thing we have to do is we have to get out here with the bucket. <coughs> and come out here and get all the stumps and roots stuff we've pulled up so far. I got some pretty good sized ones already. We're going to get them pulled up out of here and then we'll uh, get busy on plowing some more and more and more. It's going to take a few passes of plowing and then we will do uh, a couple, several passes of discing. So, oh, I don't know why I stopped right there. Yep. I get that far enough. Okay. I'm going to make, I got to make outside runs still, so I'm going to probably make four or five of those. So I just want to get this thing done. Hopefully in the future years on this side, when we're doing a Sudan, Sorghum Sudan, we won't have to do the chisel plow. We'll be able to run a disc, the cultivator over, get it, you know, just do a light till of it, and uh, do that. I eventually want to get to no-till, is what I want to get to, and I will. Because for now, I'm going to go this route, and I got to get this, this round is so rough. So bad, it needs to be broken and done like this first. Woo! <coughs> Drone's still doing good. I can't see how much battery's got left. I don't got my glasses on. We got several days to go on this. We gotta get all this done on this side first. Work on fences over there, get that side done. And uh, like I said, part of that was done last year, so it's gonna be a little bit easier. And uh, it was like this, it was rough to get the first couple passes in. Then after that, it got easy. 